Edwin Long was born on July 12, 1829, in Bath, Somerset, to James Long, a hairdresser from Kelston in Somerset. His early education took place at Dr. Viner's school in Bath. Choosing the path of a painter, Long ventured to London where he honed his skills studying at the British Museum. He furthered his training under James Matthews Lee in Newman Street, London, initially focusing on portraiture, capturing notable figures like Charles Greville and Lord Ebery. Long's artistic journey led him to form a significant friendship with John Philip, with whom he embarked on travels to Spain and Egypt. These voyages greatly impacted his artistic style, heavily influenced by the works of Velázquez and other Spanish masters. Notably, his earlier paintings such as La Posada, 1864, and Lazarilla and the Blind Beggar, 1870, reflect this Spanish influence, setting the stage for his evolving artistic direction. Long's artistic breakthrough arrived with the creation of pivotal pieces like The Suppliance, 1872, and The Babylonian Marriage Market, 1875, both acquired by Thomas Holloway. His artistic prowess flourished during a visit to Egypt and Syria in 1874, sparking a transformative shift in his work. Imbued with a deep understanding of Middle Eastern archaeology, he produced Oriental-themed paintings such as The Egyptian Feast, 1877, and The Gods and Their Makers, 1878. These marked a distinct shift in Long's thematic focus and artistic expression. Long's paintings garnered significant attention and acclaim, particularly due to their emotional impact and resonance with the religious sentiments of the public. This led to a surge in popularity, further amplified by wide circulation of engravings based on his works. His decision to exhibit his subsequent paintings in a separate gallery on Bond Street in London, starting in 1883, notably featuring pieces like Anno Domini and Zeuxis at Crotona met with tremendous commercial success, cementing his place in the art world. In 1870, Long was elected as an Associate of the Royal Academy, followed by his appointment as an academician in 1881. Throughout his career, he received prestigious commissions and painted portraits of influential figures, including Baroness Burdett Coutts, Mrs. Brown, a friend of the Baroness, and Henry Irving. Noteworthy portraits from his later years include a memorial piece of the Earl of Iddesley and Cardinal Manning, widely regarded as one of his best efforts in portraiture. Long's artistic journey was not devoid of critical evaluation. While his earlier works showcased great power and earned him well-deserved success and popularity, Art historian Lionel Cust observed that his later work suffered from a repetition of types, resulting in a sense of monotony. Despite this critique, Long's contributions to art, especially his earlier impactful pieces and his exploration of Oriental themes, remain a significant part of his artistic legacy. Tragically, 
Edwin Long passed away due to pneumonia following influenza at his residence, Kelston, in Netherhall Gardens, Hampstead, on May 15, 1891, at the age of 62. His artistic legacy endured through the collection of his works, forming the foundation of a Christian art gallery that replaced Gustave Doré's pieces in the renowned New Bond Street Gallery. Despite the controversy surrounding his will, his impact on the art world persisted through the collection and appreciation of his paintings. Art critics reflect on Long's career with a nuanced perspective. While acknowledging his early brilliance and undeniable success, they note a shift in his later works, marked by a repetitive style that detracted from their originality. However, his earlier contributions, especially those influenced by his travels to Spain and the Middle East, continue to be revered for their emotive depth and cultural significance, cementing Edwin Long's lasting impact on the art world.